So I'm Ben Schnee, I'm from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio originally, uh, and I am the current Spine Fellow. I operated with uh, Dr. Tresser, Dr. Small, and uh, Dr. Samad. You got a good clinical experience, you got to see yeah. a ton in the OR. Absolutely, there was um, very happy with the, um, with the OR experience, so a lot of autonomy right from, uh, right from the start actually, they get you involved really quick. So uh, very happy with that, and uh, I'm at the point now where I'm, I'm confident going forward and out into practice on my own. So. Uh, it's been it's been a great experience. So my name is Taylor Lara, and I'm from uh, originally from Tennessee, and I did my residency at Oregon Health and Science University, and I'm here in Tampa doing my fellowship at FOI. And I was really excited about probably foremost the variety, like it had all of all of everything you can imagine in terms of approaches to the hip, like you know posterior, anterior, anterolateral muscle sparing approaches. So you really got to know your way around the hip, just seeing different ways of people attacking problems, I'm a lot more uh, inclined to try something new afterwards instead of getting you know, kind of stuck in the way we did it in residency. My name is Zach Telgater, uh, originally from upstate New York. I did my residency there in Syracuse and came down here for my trauma fellowship this year. We do eight months as a fellow, do two four month rotations at TGH where you're kind of running the trauma service at the level one center. Right now I'm currently on my second block of my Tampa General rotation. so. Normal day, come in around 6.30 or so, meet with the residents, go through a daily sign out, and spend most of the day in the OR, just getting through a lot of good cases. Uh, my name is Roshan Melvani. Uh, I'm one of the current Shoulder and Elbow Fellows. I grew up uh, two hours northeast of LA in a small town called Apple Valley. I did my uh, undergrad and medical school in Missouri, uh, in Kansas City. And I did my residency in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, at MedStar Orthopedics. Um, I'm currently doing fellowship here now. What were you excited about coming to Tampa? Um, when you um, go to conferences and read book chapters and such, you see Dr. Mile and Dr. Frankel um, have been pretty prominent in the world of shoulder. And the best part about it was, uh, was getting to see how Dr. Frankel and Dr. Mile really mentored their fellows. In my own setting, I'm gonna have to become, or hope to evolve to become a leader in orthopedics. I think mentorship is one of the most important things. So that was probably what I was most excited about. So I'm Alex Kelsheimer. I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. I have a wife, two crazy wild kids, um, and then I'm headed back to St. Louis for my private practice position. This was my number one choice. This was exactly where I wanted to be. Um, I tried every, you know, used every little avenue to make sure like I was gonna get this spot. So for me, it was kind of like dream come true is what I wanted. I think the biggest thing is just, I saw that this was gonna set me up for exactly the practice I wanted. And you're not only learning how to be a surgeon, but also how to be a private practice surgeon. You gotta make sure you get everything lined up. So I think that's probably a great experience to, to just work in different environments. Absolutely, I think that's a kind of underrated part of the education here. We see geriatric trauma, pediatric trauma, and everything in between. And you see it in multiple different environments, which is nice as a trainee. There's a lot of variety like there is in every aspect of the fellowship, but it's usually two or three days of operating and then one and a half to two and a half days of clinic. I think they do a good job of uh, letting you focus on the work that you're here to do rather than being distracted by you know, more scut work and that type of thing. Yeah. The biggest thing for me this year is, is one was obviously um, confidence in the OR, right? You're, you're subspecializing, so you need to get really good at, at what you're doing. And, uh, complications and whether that's intraoperative or postoperative, it's it's being comfortable that they're going to happen to any surgeon, and it's being comfortable with how to how to manage those effectively. When I finished uh, residency, I sort of had this idea that all the glory was in the operating room, and when I came here and watched Dr. Mile and Dr. Frankel and got to work with them, I soon realized that um, there was a lot outside of that that I hadn't necessarily paid attention to, that goes into taking great care. Uh, patients. It's really how to become a better critical thinker. Uh, Dr. Frankel really makes you aware of your own biases and I think that um, having that understanding will allow uh, me and others 
um, who go through this program um, to eventually continuously improve in what they're doing and become better surgeons. One of my mentor who uh, from St. Louis, he said the key to happy clinic is good indications. And you know, as a resident, I think I kind of was like, yeah, yeah, whatever you say. And this year, it just kind of reinforced that from seeing patients in just our outpatient clinic too, and then as well as in our fellows clinic where really we are making the decision. Yeah, my, my favorite thing that Dr. Lyon says is there's no such thing as a vanilla case. <laughs> so always be prepared for anything and everything to go wrong. And I think you only get that from you know having your radar up and being prepared and having seen it before. And I got to see a lot of things here in terms of pathology, and uh, how to get out of problem situations. And I, I think that's the key thing. Great group of attendings here. Very different backgrounds, different way of doing things, which is great for your education. Really can't beat working at the level one center of this Tampa General Hospital. We also cover several level two hospitals in the area too, which is a nice exposure that a lot of programs don't have. And like you've alluded to, living in Tampa for a year is really hard to beat. Tampa is amazing. It's uh, uh, when you have some free time, it's going to the beach with the family. Um, I'm a big golfer, so it's you know you're golfing year round. It's it's excellent. The warm weather is definitely the biggest perk, and outside of work, uh, I really enjoyed biking both along Bayshore and the Pinellas Trail. And there's a ton of bars and restaurants. I don't think I've eaten at the same place twice, uh, but I have to say by far the best thing was you know, the white sand beaches being 35 to 40 minutes away. I think it took me up to that next level that I was looking for and we already have plans to come back and visit during the uh, winter months up north. I would say it's been one of the best years of my life. Um, not only because I'm in Tampa and because of all the things that I've learned, but really because sort of everything from my professional career, medical school, residency, has all really come together um, to prepare me to be out on my own.